Santa Cruz County is a diverse community located on California's central coast. While we continue to face significant health challenges and disparities, our forward-thinking elected officials, committed community-based organizations, engaged citizens, and numerous collaboratives and coalitions are working together across sectors to effectively address many of these challenges in innovative and sustainable ways. The following clips highlight some of our county's efforts along our journey toward health. Youth and adults are committed to change. They are changing norms that condone adult chaperone drinking parties, advocating that policies are enforced to keep our community safe, and refusing youth easy access to alcohol through their families, local merchants, and other sources. Our goal in Jovenes Sanos is to help prevent and reduce childhood obesity in our community by creating policies that are healthier for our community. We recently passed the Healthy Food Options Ordinance, which requires all new incoming restaurants in the city of Watsonville to offer healthy food choices. This ordinance is one of the first in the country. How great would it be to uh, have more options than just uh, probably tacos or burritos or pizza, and to actually have an option eating a salad or uh, just having a, something else that would be more healthy. This issue was brought to us by the youth of the city, not by this council. They're the ones that are proposing public policy, and they're saying to us, why don't you guys use your ability to help us uh, end this addiction to fat, salt, and sugar? How could we not act? Motion carries 5-1. Healthy Kids was launched in 2004 in order to cover the thousands of children locally that didn't have insurance and because of that they didn't have access to comprehensive medical, dental, vision, mental health services which they needed. The grand jury uh, had a report on the lack of health insurance in our county and what that meant in terms of the quality of life for people who lived here. And so it was crucial to have accurate data that showed trends over time in terms of uninsured, in terms of people's access to health care services, access to dental care. And that data was found in the CAP report. And so it helped us make sure we were designing a program that was going to really meet the needs of the families that we were intending to serve. And I'm happy to report to you that right now, more than um, 2,000 youngsters who would otherwise be ineligible for coverage are covered by healthy kids. Given our history in Santa Cruz, we are optimistic about meeting the challenges ahead. Uh, we believe that we can do this better with better public safety results than the current system. There is an opportunity now to do this much better. We've got a community that's engaged. We've got politicians who care. We've got law enforcement people who are ready to do this differently. You're going to hear in a minute from Scott McDonald, who has already done this with the juvenile system in this county. And what we are talking about now is engaging you in the process of doing it with the adults. As I've dived into this issue, I realized pretty early on that this is not a left-right issue. This is not a Democrat versus Republican issue. Uh, this is not a progressive versus conservative issue. This is about what works and what doesn't work. It's really um, great to see a large turnout from the community for such an important topic to us, law enforcement and, and community professionals, but to know that there's this big of a, a turnout and this big of an interest in the community with regard to the future of our um, uh, correction system. Santa Cruz County, unique apart, but powerful together.